All right, well, we're talking about integers now, and um, some of you guys might know what integers are, but let's quickly review what they are um, as we get started. So what are integers? Well, one thing we're used to are these whole numbers. We're used to having positive numbers that are whole numbers. But what integers are, are they are the whole numbers, but they also include their opposites. All right, so it's a set of whole numbers, including their opposites. You can see that we have 1 and negative 1, 3 and negative 3, 6, negative 6, and so on. So integers are the set of whole numbers a set of whole numbers, including their opposites. So it's a set of whole numbers, including their opposites. Integers are a set of whole numbers, including their opposites. Opposites being the negative part of the whole number. So 1 and negative 1. Negative 1 would be the opposite. Now, let's use the numbers on the number line in order to order negative 2, 5, negative 4, 1, negative 1, and 0 from least to greatest. Now you can see on the number line what happens is we have 0 in the middle, and then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if we go the other way, we go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. So first, let's find each of these numbers on the number line, and then we'll see how we get them from least to greatest. So negative 2, we go 0, and then we go over 2. 5, start at 0, go over to the right, 5, positive 5. Negative 4 is over here. 1 is right there. Negative 1, just next to 0, and 0 is right there in the middle. Now, the further you are left on the number line, the smaller your number, the less your number is. All right, so my least number is going to be negative 4. It's my number furthest to the left on the number line. And then we just work left to right. So negative 4, then it would be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 5. So negative 4, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 5. So that's how we order least to greatest. Let's compare these numbers using the greater than sign or the less than sign. Remember these want to open up towards the greater number. The open mouth wants to open up towards the greater number. The alligator wants to eat more. So would we have a greater than or less than sign? Would it be greater than or less than? Well, we have 2 right here and negative 2 over here. So if 2 is greater than, it's further right on the number line. So the alligator is going to want to eat 2. He's going to face that 2. Let's look at th negative 3 and negative 7. Let's uh, change the color. Negative 3 is right here. And negative 7 is right here. He's actually going to... The further you are right, the greater you are. So he's going to want to eat the negative 3. So alligator is going to face the negative 3. Let's look at negative 4 and 2. Right, let's use green for this one. Um, negative 2, we had one right here. Negative 2 and negative 4. So the alligator is going to eat the negative 2. So this time the alligator is going to face the other way. So in this case, we are going to have a greater than sign, another greater than sign, and a less than sign going towards the alligator's mouth. All right. So that's how we figure out which one's further left or further right on the number line. Do you, would you rather owe negative three dollars, or would you rather owe three dollars or owe seven dollars? Well, we'd rather owe three. All right. Absolute value. The absolute value of a number is the distance. the value is from zero. All right, so let's look at a number line and look at the absolute value. Basically what the absolute value does is it makes every number positive. So if we look at negative seven, negative seven's way over here. What's the distance from zero? Well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7. Let's look at 3. All right, we'll do this one right here. What's the distance from 0? Well, it's 1, 2, 3. 
So the absolute value of positive 3 is positive 3. So the absolute value of negative 4 will be positive 4. It basically takes away the negative. So you have positive 7, positive 3, positive 4. All your answers with absolute values will be positive. Um, so that's it for integers. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and um, I will be happy to answer them tomorrow. Have a great evening.